there are multiple ways of evaluating your AI chatbot systems that have multi-terrain conversations. In this video, what I'm actually going to do is simulate entire conversations based on specific scenarios to see how my chatbot is actually handling these cases. For this, I actually built an application that is a simple cooking assistant that is run in OpenAI. And the next step is to actually use this system that I have here to simulate conversations against it. And for that, I'm going to be using Open Epals. It has support for multi-turn simulation, which we're going to be using. And it creates an agent that has a specific behavior that then talks to your actual chatbot system that we'll then use to evaluate our system with. But before we use the library, the first thing that we need to do is actually to generate some scenarios. I actually asked Plod to construct difficult edge cases scenarios that I want to test my system with. And so what I'm going to do is add them to a data set in Langfuse that I will then be using to score the results of it. So if we go to Langfuse and go to data sets, I'm actually going to create here a data set of simulation, simulated conversations. And I'll create a new item based on the uh, JSON that I copied from Klarna. And in this case, it's an example of a very nervous first-time cook who has a short amount of time and how the chatbot then handles that situation for the user. This is just an example, but you can actually take more complex situations. For example, if I have an order tracking chatbot that I can give an order number to and then get some tracking information, I could add here some information like tracking ID to be something that is non-existent and test that the chatbot reacts to that. So, But in, in this case, I'm just going to keep it simple to my cooking scenario. And I'll create this data set element. And now I'm going to create an item for each one of these. So the reason why we add them to a data set of length use and not, for example, having to sit in the code is because we can then actually run some evaluations and assign scores to each one of these scenarios. And we can understand how our systems are improving or regressing depending on the different scenarios that we have. Now the next step is to actually uh, use the Open Evals library that we talked about earlier, the test this application that I have here. And for that, the first step will be to prepare the application to be run against Open Evals, which needs a specific set of input and output and some way of tracking the conversation history. I have this example code here that, that handles that by, by a thread ID. And then I'm going to get the scenario and persona from the data set and length use and construct a simulated user that will then be used to run the multi tier simulation based on that user that I have here. And in the app section, I just have my actual application. Finally, I'll, I'll use the data experiments SDK from length use, which we can find here which allows you to actually fetch a data set from Langfuse, run an experiment against that data set, and then get the output and assign it back, which we'll then use to evaluate our responses. And so I have that here. I'm instantiating the Langfuse SK and then getting the data set that we just created a moment ago. Fetching the persona and scenario fields from that and then generating a synthetic conversation against it by running the experiment. So let's go ahead and do it. And you can see we're starting to generate the simulated conversations. And now that the experiment is complete, I can actually go to my data set and go to the specific one that just happened. And you can see that it exists already. So I'll just open that. And you can inspect the entire conversation that happened between the simulated agent and your system and evaluate it on your own. But we can actually use an LLM as a judge to generate a score based on these conversations. So we can evaluate them with every run. So I'm going to go and create an element of the judge here. And the first step is to actually add a model that is going to be used to run the LLM as a judge. I have an OpenAI model, which we just call OpenAI, and I'll paste here a secret. And you want to use the GPT-5 model because usually for an LLM as a judge, you want to use a model that is bigger than your actual application's model. So I'll save that. And I'll go back and actually create the evaluator now. In this case, let's, for example, create an evaluator to see the conciseness of, of the conversation. You can use all the evaluators that you have here in the library of evaluators or actually create your own custom evaluator. But for now, let's just use the conciseness one. I'm going to run it against my dataset runs, also the existing items. You can see here the prompt that we're using to evaluate the conciseness of the conversation. And we need to actually replace here the, the conversation and the generated 
trace. So I'm just going to do that quickly. Take the trace input and then set the generation to be the trace output. And I'll execute that. And if I go to the dataset page and open the run, you can see an overall score to of the conciseness of all the conversations that it had. And you can actually open it and inspect one by one what is the conciseness score and the reason why it actually gave it that score. So in the future, if we actually do new ones, you should hopefully see that the evaluation score of whatever evaluator that you have is improving over time. In this video, we created a data set of scenarios and personas to test our system against. We then use open evals to simulate conversations based on those scenarios and personas, and then save the results in our data set and evaluated the responses with an LLM as a judge to see how our system is improving over time. So that's it for today. And thank you.